Hi, welcome to Mathematics. In this video, you want to solve for x in 3 raised to the power x plus x equals 11. Let's say solution. We have 3 raised to the power x plus x equals 11. From here, you are going to have 3 raised to the power x equals 11 minus x. So then we divide both sides by 3 raised to the power x. Divide both sides by 3 raised to the power x. And if we do, we are going to have 3 raised to the power x divided by x divided by 3 raised to the power x equals 11 minus x divided by 3 raised to the power x and you know this divided by this will give us 1 equals 11 minus x divided by 3 raised to the power x we have 1 equals 11 minus x then this will be we have to take this back to negative index. So that is 3 raised to the power minus x. You know, wherever we have 3 raised to the power minus x like this, we are going to change this minus to 1 divided by. So then we have 3 raised to the power x. So it's just the same as this. Now, let's still arrange this to be 11 minus x times 3 raised to the power minus x equals 1. So from here, we multiply both sides by 3 raised to the power 11. Let's say multiply both sides by 3 raised to the power 11. And if we do, we are going to have 11 minus x times 3 raised to the power minus x. Then we multiply it by this side by 3 raised to the power 11 equals we have 1 so we multiply it by 3 raised to the power 11 so for this we will have 11 minus x times 3 remember from the law of indices when number with two copies have been multiplied their power are added so we are going to have minus x plus 11 equals 1 times 3 raised to the power 11 will give us 3 raised to the power 11. Now we have 11 minus x times, we can write this as 11 minus x equals 3 raised to the power 11. But let's recall that if we have exponential length 3, this is equals 3 because this exponential becomes this length. So now let's replace 3 by exponential length 3. So we are going to have 11 minus x times, so we have exponential, then that is 11 minus x, right? So you can just say length 3. So we are going to have this then multiply by this. So equals 3 raised to the power 11. So here we need to introduce the Lampant function. So I here, for example, we have, if you have the Lampant function of A times exponential A, you know this will be A. So if you now look here and here, we want to make this base and this power to, this, to be the same right so and to do that you know we already have 11 minus x here and we have 11 minus x 11 minus x here so what is left to be here is length 3 so now let's say we multiply both sides by length 3 multiply both sides by length 3 so we have 11 minus x multiply by length 3 then multiply by we have exponential minus 
exponential 11 minus x then 3 right so is equals we have 3 raised to the power 11 then 3 all right so we now have this and this base and the power to be the same now i just write it as lin 3 open bracket 11 minus x right so multiply by exponential lin 3 11 minus x equals 3 raised to power 11 lin 3 so now we now apply the lampan function Let's apply the Lampant function. We have Lampant function of lin 3, 11 minus x, exponential lin 3, 11 minus x, equals Lampant function of 3 raised to power 11, lin 3. So, and don't forget that uh, I just said, the Lampant function of a multiplied by exponential a is equal to a. So we have the base and power the same. So we have it. So now let's look here. We have the base and the power the same, right? So we are going to have the Lampant function of this will become lin 3 multiplied by 11 minus x equals the Lampant function of 3 raised to power 11 times lin 3. So we have it like this. So now let's check this. For this, we are going to have lin 3 multiplied by 11 minus x equals Lampant function of this 3 raised to the power 11 can be expressed as 3 raised to the power 2, then 3 raised to the power 9. So if we have 2 and 9, we're going to give uh, 11. So then we have times lin 3. So we have lin 3, open bracket 11 minus x equals Lampant function of 3 raised to power 2 will give us 9, right? So we have lin 3, then times 3 raised to power 9. So we will have lin 3, 11 minus x equals the Lampant function of 9 lin 3 so and you know this we can express this as exponential lin 3 which will be raised to power 9 right so because we know exponential we cancel this lin so we are going to have 3 9 so we have lin 3 11 minus x equals the Lampant function of 9 lin 3 times so if we look here this will becomes 9 is still the same as 9 lin 3 so just uh, complete for the additions uh, addition sign so we are going to have for this let's recall that uh, the Lampant function i said earlier but you have to observe the reason why we want to apply Lampant function is you will see that the base here and this power they are the same so we can easily apply the Lampant function and for that let's recall that our Lampant function of this a multiplied by exponential a is equal to a right so we are going to have lin lin 3 1 minus x equals the Lampant function of this will be what the Lampant function of 9 lin 3 right oh sorry we have simplified this we are not going to have uh, the lampant again so you observe that this lin 3 we cancel this lin 3 so we have 11 minus x equals 9 if we collect the light and we are going to have x equals 11 minus 9 and for this we are going to get our x to be equals 2 so this is our answer so you can still check that can verify we have 3 raised to the power x plus x equals 11 right so i'm plotting our x to be equals 2 so we have 3 raised to the power 2 plus 2 we want to check is this equals 11 
So we have 3 raised to the power 2 will give us 9 plus 2. Is this equals 11? So we have 9 plus 2, we have 11 equals 11. So you see, x equals to satisfy the given equations. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Kindly like and leave a comment, and don't forget to share with your friends and network. Do well to also subscribe to my channel to stay updated on my next video. Bye.